time for change. 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 So if you're a woman like me, you're constantly changing your mind about things. Like your hair. What color will it be today? Should I cut it short? Should I shave it all off? Well, fear not, for I am here to make sure that you follow through with your dreams. So if you're familiar with me and my hair story, I've accomplished going red using Nanic Panic, a semi-permanent hair dye. You can watch my previous video. But it's about that time for a change, as it frequently is when it comes to me and my life. But today, however, I've decided that the red in my hair needs to kind of go away for a little bit. I will most likely revisit being a redhead because I enjoyed it immensely. But as of now, I kind of want normalcy. So, I picked up a few boxes of color oops. This is for permanent and semi-permanent hair color. I watched lots of videos and reviews saying that this product didn't really do anything when it came to semi-permanent hair dye. It didn't remove anything. But I'm going to assume that they didn't do it properly. I've used this product before a long time ago and it turned my hair this brassy caramel color. It was very pretty for a while until I changed my mind yet again and decided to dye it a different color. But this time, instead of re-dyeing it, since I'm trying to get my natural hair color back or something, I've managed to grow out my roots quite a bit using Manic Panic and only Manic Panic. So I'm assuming, so my roots are like, you know, this long, it's been a quite, it's been about a year. Anyways, oh, I'm gonna get sexy for you, hold on. So, this time when I use Color Oops, I also discovered this shampoo, purple shampoo, Shimmer Lights, and read lots of reviews on it. And then there's many other different types of purple shampoos and blue shampoos that help to tone down brassy yellow hair and stuff. So I'm assuming that once this is said and done, it will, my hair will look similar since before I manic panicked it. Since before I used manic panic, I dyed it like with real permanent dye. And I also went to a salon to have them try to do my hair red, but that didn't work out. So underneath all this semi-permanent hair dye is lots of processed, dye that should bring my hair to some kind of trumpet colored situation. So today I am going to demonstrate color oops and we're going to see how well it works and also I'm curious to know what it will do to my roots since my roots are natural now, because they've grown out a lot, if it will even do anything to my roots. It makes no sense why color oops would do anything to natural hair, but what if it does? That's what we're here to find out. Upon opening the box, you got your little instruction pamphlet. You also have hair color remover and more hair color remover. And an applicator tip. Very important. Within this little packet thing, they provide a hair cap for when you're done and processing and stuff. And gloves, which is on the other side of the packet. Since my hair is longer than some, I bought two boxes of this stuff instead of just one because I want to make sure that I don't have any like splotchy craziness happening. Um, this box, it says it's supposed to take 20 minutes it's safe and easy, and it's ammonia-free and bleach-free, and that you can recolor the same day. 
but we aren't going to be recoloring. We're just going to tone down whatever happens with this purple shampoo that I bought. Also, upon my research, um, this product dries your hair out. So, in order to help the health of my hair, my hair is two days old. It's so it's got its you know little bit of oiliness, just a little bit, to kind of help protect the strands and stuff from getting super over over dry from getting super dry after we use this and also my plan is once I am done with this product after the shower and washing it all out and everything I'm going to put a coconut oil hair mask on that will help to restore its juiciness My hair is just about dry after getting out of the shower. Your hair will best absorb the benefits of coconut oil if it is dry, so I wanted to wait for it to dry. This is what it looks like. I didn't use the Shimmer Light shampoo yet because I wanted you guys to see what it turned out like before I started toning it. So this is what it looks like now. There's still a little, a little bit of kind of red, but it's like multicolored right now. Um, after I start, after I use the uh, shimmer lights, I'm going to see what happens to it then, and from there decide if I should do color oops one more time. So many people reported that this stuff smelled horrible and smelled like eggs, and I experienced a smell. I can't necessarily say that it was horrible. It didn't necessarily even smell like eggs. It smelled kind of like grapefruit. Maybe I'm just weird or something, I don't know. But um, my hair still smells like it. Um, so I'm hoping after I wash it a few more times it will smell more like hair and not whatever this is. But I would make sure that you are in a well-ventilated area. If you're in your bathroom, turn on the, the vent in there. Um, which is another reason why I decided to do it in my kitchen because it was open space and I can open a window if I needed to. So I wound up using Color Oops one more time. It's been about two weeks since the first application of Color Oops and since then I have washed my hair five or six times using the Shimmer Lights Purple Toning Shampoo. I went ahead with the second application of Color Oops because my hair still had lots of the red left in it from previously. So I waited about a week and then used Color Oops a second time and it's definitely helped a lot with the red that was in my hair and the Shimmer Lights has also definitely helped with toning down the brassiness left over from Color Oops. This is what it looks like. So, we'll see how long this lasts before I change my mind again. I think next I will want to go a pastel lavender shade, but that's a whole nother video for a whole nother time. So that wraps up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.